five, four, three, two, one, fire. Hi, I'm Greg Golson, a group leader in the Heartland region. I'm here to talk about what you can expect to find in our training videos this year. I'll also be covering some of the major changes to the June area tract questionnaire for this year's survey. We have put together several videos for you this year, each covering specific sections of the questionnaire and even one showing a demonstration entering a segment in the CAPI. We hope you all find these helpful and can refer to them whenever you have questions come up during the survey or need a quick refresher. There were also several videos for pre-screening that provide extra background and information about June area. If you haven't watched those videos, please consider it. Your regional field office might also have region or state specific videos for you to review. There are several changes that have been made from last year's survey. Many of these changes are because of the upcoming census. Because of this, we have to ask extra questions to help make sure we have the best list of operations possible and the most complete data that we can have. Some changes are just formatting changes and others are changes requested by you to help make the survey easier to fill out. Here are the major changes for sections A and D. There were eight sections that had substantial changes. Here are the major changes to the sections for total acres operated, sheep, goats, and economic data. A major change for this year is that all ag operations must fill out a points recording sheet in the economic data section. Here, you can see that the entire technology section was removed and there were major updates to the characteristics section. Most of the changes listed on these slides will be discussed in further detail in the videos focused on those sections. I hope you find our videos helpful and informative. In addition to these videos, your regional field offices may have additional trainings and informational materials. Please contact your supervisors, NASDA coordinators, or regional field offices if you have any questions. Thank you.